Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and welcome back to part uh, eight, no, 12 on how to make an 8x8 eight eight, uh, mini album. And in this uh, part we will uh, make the cover and also some uh, tabs for uh, the photo mats. I decided to take some tabs off. So, but uh, before we start, I want to show you something here because this album is not going to lay flat, it's going to stand up, so then this all uh, flipped around. So then I decided to take a magnet behind. And what I did here was, uh, fold over, just place the magnet behind with a piece of tape, and then folded this over here, and uh, show you here, I just placed the magnet and tape over, and the same I did for all four, like so. So, and uh, then I uh, did this a hard way, way, <laughs> so then I had to open up back here, so I can show you. So uh, here I placed then first uh, on this side, and then I placed just these over here. So then I can take <laughs> this off and glue it back again. So, so uh, now for um, the binding here, and uh, here I've um, pre-made one, and I can show you the score lines here. So here you need to cut out the uh, eight and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then you're going to score at a half inch, flip it over, score it at one inch, flip it over again, and score at one and a half, and that leaves three and a quarter in the middle here. But if this uh, spine, if you get some other dimension here, that depends a bit how tight you glue them together here, then you need to adjust this. So if you have uh, three and one eight here, then you, you cut it one eight shorter. But the scoring lines are the same. So <laughs> I hope that makes uh, sense. So then I started to fold it. Or first I glued on, um, see here, some uh, vinyl. Here you can use um, a Tivec envelope or also or something strong, but I was so lazy I wanted it black and want, didn't want to paint it, so I just took uh, vinyl. It's not so strong as the Tivec envelope, but I think it will hold. So I can show you uh, folding lines here. So it's down, so you get this V form here. Also did that on the other side, so maybe it would have a hold with uh, two uh, lines here, just score here and here, but <laughs> I uh, have to try this out and see how it works, so we'll see. So then you stick to this, and then I glued a lot of uh, score tape over, so be sure to use some strong uh, glue here if you don't have uh, the score line or, or the score tape. <laughs> So, and I also did uh, all over here, so we'll take one extra strip here. So I will glue this on here, edge to edge all the way, and that I do have to uh, do off camera so I can get it uh, precise. So when I've done that I will be back. So now I've uh, glued it on here. And uh, be sure to glue this very well down, go in between each page and press it very well down. And also be sure to score uh, these lines here very good down. But uh, I think, uh, as you see, this builds up a bit on the side. And uh, <laughs> here I think my goal <laughs> goes uh, to stick to one uh, uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. So, uh, but uh, my plan was here to take it eight and three quarter by eight and three quarter uh, cover. So, uh, if you don't uh, make the stand and if you make another binding here on the end, you maybe get enough paper. But uh, I will show more as we go. <laughs> so, then we can start uh, creating the cover. So here I cut out one piece that's eight and three quarter by and. Uh, yeah, a, th a three and uh, three eighths, and two pieces that is nine and a three quarter by eight and three quarter. 
this so then we can start gluing this together. So I will start on the inside here and um, here you can glue it all together like so if you like to. And here it wasn't glue all over, that was the rest from one. So I'm using the Tivec envelopes but you can use uh, anything strong binding here as you like to. So you can take it like so and glue it direct on but if you find that a bit hard you can uh, see here. So glue it on this way and then take this so and then we can do the same for the other side here. On here. So flip it around. And uh, yeah, maybe before I glue this on, I can maybe show you if you're going to use fat. Then you take this all the way, like so, and measure how wide you want it. And then you take glue on felt here and also on the back spine, as wide as you need to go. Take a bit of, uh, not flat here, a bit of a mount here. So. And we can glue on the other side. take my score tool and uh, short it to get it well done. So now this is the inside so we can cut off the ends here. And here I see I was a bit on the outside. Just cut it like so. <laughs> so, and then we can um, take the other side here and then I take it up in an angle like so and then we can start because if we are gluing this down uh, the same way on this side um, you can't close uh, the album or uh, bend it over, so we lift it up. So, and then I work this over, and I take my nail inside here. Can use a tool or anything. And then I go over this to flatten it all out. So then you see you get a nice edge here. And for the other side. So then I will uh, cut off the uh, rest here and also go over with my sharpie before we glue the album inside. So now I've been around with uh, my marker in uh, all uh, the top and bottom and also between here, between the folding here. So then we can glue this down and here I have uh, some score tape. So this I will glue down like so. And 
be sure to get it a bit away from uh, the folding lines. That's why we cut this uh, bottom spine a bit larger than three and a quarter. And again, I do have to uh, do this off uh, camera because <laughs> else I won't uh, get it uh, straight. My eyes are not uh, what they used to be, so I'm sorry for that, but hope you understand. So I will start with this and glue it all the way, one quarter from the top and bottom, and then I will take off the glue on this side and glue it down. So I'll be back when I've done that. So now I've uh, glued it on, and usually when we glue this on we take a pattern paper in first, but here, here I'm planning to slide uh, pattern paper in because of the hinges we can do that. So now we can see how this works. So uh, yeah. Now this is standing out a bit, but that doesn't matter. So here's some fussy cut was loosening. And uh, Yeah, now the pages will lie flat, so I think this works out fine. Yeah, I'm happy about that. So then we can uh, make the tabs uh, for uh, for uh, the uh, inserts here. Just uh, one thing, when we, we come to the end and need to close it up again, you maybe have to help it a bit in place so it will stick down. So here I've made uh, five um, uh, tabs and they were going to use the same uh, template as in a previous uh, episode. And then you take some back car uh, stuff, one and a half inch and score at uh, three eight, no, uh, three quarter and fold it. And I use this template, so take this up to the folding line and just draw around. So, and then you cut it out. Yeah, I don't have to cut it out, you see it. So, then you get this shape. And again, I used uh, glue down a label on this also. So, then we can uh, glue them on photo mats. And then I think I will I try to go in a line and down and down and down like so from top to bottom. So I think I will glue this all the way up. So try that. And then I will go to the bottom part, the last insert, and uh, take one here as well. Go all the way, oops, and down. Uh, This is uh, dried enough now, so I can cut this off the end here, so that I will do with the bottom part also. Maybe take a bit of angle here. So. And then I will take uh, the middle part and uh, line this up. Well, and I think out a bit here. 
here. Now I will try to place this in the middle here. You can measure if you like to, but you can just eyeball it also. So here about maybe it down. So this wasn't straight at all. <laughs> Doesn't have to be precise. And now for the second one. So then we will try to find the center here as well, in between these two. So I'm gonna see how I can get this to fit in between here. the wrong way. And then we can stick in uh, for um, the fourth one is going to go inside here. So. Here about. Now I see how this uh, looks. Yeah, looks great. So then I think I have to glue some of them uh, a bit better and then the, uh, put them in the pages and show you. So I also want the closure on the, the end of the album, on this side here. And there I cut out one piece that's oh, 8 and 3 quarter by 3 and 1 quarter. And then I cut out another piece that was 8 and 3 quarter by 3 and 3 eighths. So this is a bit larger than, this is larger than this. And then I just uh, cut it in half. So, and uh, one of these we are going to glue up on here. Glue that on, and maybe we can do that after we have assembled it. I think so. So then we can glue on this side here. So, and uh, and on the back side here. So try to meet them up here. we snip off the ends and then I think I want this so it can be folded all the way in so I fold this normally I would have glued it on like this but I will try how this will work so we can lift it up and glue it on this side first over on the edge here. And up. So. Take my nail inside here again. Let's 
see how this will look. Yeah. So let me try to smear it all out. I'm done now for the other side. folded it a bit over and this is about uh, one millimeter uh, thick chipboard and I take in a pencil mark here and I will try to line it up so about the same as uh, thickness here so. so about and I will glue it down see if the other will fit here on the inside this piece here so you see it's a bit on the outside here so we try and see how this works so I could have glued this on at the first trying something new here so I'm not sure what I'm doing myself either so. one piece over here. So now you can see when it's a laying flat it's a bit from the edge here. So we'll see how this works. If not, we have to do it one more time. So take this over here and I go down with my nail there in the gap here. Maybe take this so first and then go down. And fold it over. So now we'll see if it works. Maybe take it a bit more down here. Now you see it's as long here as as thick uh, this uh, shipboard is. So that depends on how uh, thick your shipboard is. So mine is uh, about one millimeter, I think. Yeah, I think that works great. So should maybe take it a bit looser here. So take that up again. it all the way first into this gap here so I think it's best if you glue them together first so you get all this gap glue down so now we can see now it will fold this way and it will fold perfectly out so yeah Now I've taken my marker around all the edges here and uh, this I want to close up maybe show you this way here like so and I will try to do this with the magnets and if it doesn't work we can maybe take a clasp on here so uh, but we will try that first but if we now put in two magnets on here it will build up a bit and see it will build up so it won't be even here so that we could have solved with uh, putting one more chipboard on here to build it up more so they would be uh, or on this side one more and take this a bit longer in but uh, I think I will try to uh, take one on the inside and one on the outside so 
Here are the magnets. So then we can add draw in a line here at the three quarter inch. So we'll just take squat it all the way. So. so I think I will use four magnets here. We'll try and see if we can have it to hold closed with this and here this I'm using here are 12 millimeters. So about I think. And uh, now we can see how um, here get it to fit and uh, now I know you can't see it. <laughs> but um, we'll take a strip about three quarter inch in here as well. So. Maybe try to hold it up this way so maybe you can see it better then. So then I line it up and put my magnets. Must have it to stick together. I can take it maybe on this side first. I think I need to have it done because I can't see what I'm doing here. So, so. Not sure why one is sticking up here and one is down. I have to check inside. So, yeah. It's weird. Pick this up and see if I got it the right way here it's supposed to go. <laughs> so, now we can try and see how this works. Yeah, I think that will do it. Close is pretty good here. Yeah. So in the next uh, part we are going to start to decorate a bit on the inside here. And uh, also I, I tried earlier in the video to explain a bit if you like to make it 875 uh, by 875 and just stick to one paper pad. And then for the binding you need to cut this at uh, 7 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter and uh, you just score here on the sides here so I have one inch on the outside so then you stick this one inch to one of these covers like so and this other you can fold it up here so. and the other on top here on the other cover so, and then for the binding, so let's see, this is uh, the uh, spine now, here, that you have uh, glued this together with, on inside these two sides here. And then you glue your um, felt or fabric or anything a bit loose on the outside, maybe like so. And then you can leave it open on the other side. So, but if you are going to make the box, uh, uh, you need uh, two paper pads anyway. So <laughs> I hope uh, this was not too confusing. I can maybe show you on the top here how it's uh, stand up here. So uh, yeah. So thank you so much uh, for watching everyone. And if you have any questions, please look below in the description box. There you will find some information how I answer that. So take care and have fun creating. Bye bye.